Hi, everybody. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, Becky Gorga. I'm a STAR consultant, and um, I've been with Sensei since 2012. And so um, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit today about going live on social media. Um, going live can be scary. Um, being on camera, especially if you're not used to it, especially when um, it's not a recording, it's not scripted, it's not something that you can, oops, I messed up, let me stop and start over. Um, that's scary. That's scary for anybody, um, honestly, unless you're like, gosh, a celebrity or something, if that's like your career is just always being in front of a camera. Um, but it's, it's for those of us who are like normal, <laughs> it's nerve wracking. It's out of our comfort zone, but it is kind of important, um, if you're in direct sales, if you're a small business, things like that, especially when we have, like we were in the pandemic and we had like little to no opportunity to be face to face with people or, um, you know, have in-home parties or have conversations with people or have a chance to just talk, you know, and socialize. Um, Gosh, that's where social media really just has been a blessing. But we have to make sure that we're utilizing it um, to the most maximum benefit, right? So going live is, is scary. It gets your in your innards all worked up and shaky and you're like, nope, can't do it, can't do it. But let's let's talk about it for a second, okay? Why is going live important? Well, for one, um, it helps you beat the Facebook algorithms, okay? So um, when you're going live, fa the Facebook algorithms will say that that's more important than a meme or a, um, you know, a marketing post or anything like that because it's, and the same thing with doing selfies because it's you actually sharing your life. And so the algorithms have figured out that people want to see more of that. So they are gonna bump your post if you're doing a selfie, if you're doing a live video, if you're sharing like real life stuff, it's gonna be more shareable than the stock images and the memes and all that stuff, okay? Just because you're gonna get more visibility. The second reason why going live is so, so important is because you're getting a chance to connect with your audience, or at least they're getting a chance to connect with you. So instead of just, you know, typing words out, which people will scroll by because they don't want to read things, right? They get to see your face. They get to connect with you. They get to see your personality and who you are and um, just really feel connected. Okay, and that's, you know, one of our core values is authenticity, but how can we be our authentic selves with our friends, family, customers, audience, if they don't get to know the real us, right? And they can't get to know the real us if they're not actually seeing who we are, you know, in real life. And while this isn't real life, it's definitely more relatable than you just sharing a stock image of a warmer and a wax and pretty flowers in the background, right? That like maybe a hundred other consultants have also shared. I mean, we all do it, I do it. It's not horrible, but it's not as relatable. I mean, you definitely wanna share those pictures of, you know, real life warmers in your home, real life settings, so people can get an idea of what it looks like, right? But when you're actually wanting to connect with your customers, it's so, so important to do so in part, in person, so to speak. Um, so I know it's scary, okay, but there's ways that you can do it. You can work up to it. Um, when I first started going live, I would get the jitters every time. I mean, honestly, what I first would do is I would record a video and then I would share that because that way I could start and stop and erase and, and fix it, right? But then I started getting, you know, challenged to go live, go live, go talk to your people. So the more you do it, the more comfortable you're gonna get with it. When I first started doing it, I would text my mom 
because I knew that she'd be home. Like I'd make sure that she was home when I was going to do it. I'd say, Mom, I'm getting ready to go on live on Facebook. And she goes, okay, I'll get on and watch you. And then I would just talk to my mom. Okay, or I'd text my best friend, hey, I'm going to go live on Facebook. Can you get on and watch? So I would talk to her. And I would talk to the people that I'm comfortable talking to and, and not worry about anyone else who might be watching because I'm talking to them and they know me and, and we're comfortable with each other. And so if I were like explaining a new product to my best friend and just talking to her, you know, then other people, even if they were watching, they would get to see the real me, the not the nervous me or the, the anxious me, but the me who's comfortable with my best friend, with my mom, things like that. So if, if going live makes you nervous, try that. Text, text your mom, text your best friend, text your sister, brother, whatever. Say, hey, I'm going to go live on Facebook, but I'm really nervous. Could you be on watching me so I can talk to you? Or get a friend with you and go live together. Get another consultant and do, you know, a, a live together. And that way you're some interaction and you guys can fill the, uh, the empty dead space of conversation when you don't know what to say, right? So what do you go live about? Well, I don't know if you've, you know, you watch other consultants, you might watch Jackie Duran, Carrie Searle, um, Tracy DeMario, go, there are different ways you can go live about different subjects, okay? Doing an unboxing, that's the easiest thing in the world, really. You get a Cincy order in, people want to see the real product. They want to see what it's like for Christmas every day, right? So you get your box, you open it up and say, hey, okay, so I just got a Cincy order in and I'm just going to show you guys what I got. If you've got a Cincy Club, unbox that. If you got Warmer of the Month, unbox that. If you get somebody else's order in, unbox that and pretend like it's yours. Nobody's going to know. So do a live unboxing on TV and that gives you something to talk about, right? Um, new products. So you can talk about when, you, when a new product comes in, this is really good around new catalog time, you can talk about your first impressions of something. So one thing I like to do is every new catalog season, um, we get 10 new fragrances, right? And so I'll make my husband go live with me and we'll get the 10 fragrances out and we will both go live together because they like him more than me and we'll give our both we'll both give our first impressions of each scent and we can chit chat a little bit about what we like and don't like and just have that exchange and and people like seeing that they like seeing us together because he's funny and people like him um i mean they like me too but he's funnier so you know do your first impressions they want to know what you think you are the expert the consultant the person that they want to go to when they want to know things about Cincy products, okay? So first impressions, product reviews, take a product that we've had for a while, come on and just do a product spotlight. Say, okay, so this is our body cream. I want to talk to you about it, the different ingredients, how it works with your skin, the fragrances, yada, yada, yada. Just talk about the products. Instead of just sharing what is in our catalog or the product guide, talk about it with them, okay? Just like if it were a QVC spotlight like Jamie Kern Lima okay share your story talk about um, your why why you joined Cincy what it's doing in your life why it's important to you the people that you've met the the trips that you've gone on etc talk about your story okay um, do behind the scenes stuff like Jackie Duran does this a lot she'll just do videos of making samples or cleaning her countertops or getting her mailings ready to go right so just show them what happens when you're doing the work, putting the work in. Really, people just want to see you. They want to connect with you. So there's so many different ways that you can um, go live and connect with your friends and family and customers and all of the people. And then when you get really brave, create a YouTube channel, download your live video and upload it to YouTube and get a wider audience, okay? So I'm going to share an article in the comments. Um, about going live on social media and it's got some of the points that I just talked about and a lot more information um, maybe you're a reader and that just just better for you but I'm gonna share that in the comments if you have any questions about going live drop them in the comments if you need somebody to watch you when you're going live ask me I will jump on anytime you're going live if, if I'm not in the middle of something I will get on and I will watch you and I will interact with you okay anyway those are my tips for today and I just hit 10 minutes so I hope you have a great Tuesday and I'll talk to you again soon.